the old system presupposed the, authorita the authoritative involvement of the young lady's father in, um, in her, uh, an, in, an interest in her purity, in her uh, preparedness for marriage, and so on. And so, a young man who came to court a young lady had to get by or through or around the father. He had, the father was um, on site. He had to be had to re be reckoned with. So after um, after th that shifted, we went into what I call the recreational dating system, which predominated in the 20th century. And as time developed, some of the negative consequences of that became began to become more apparent. And in the early days of our church, we had uh, a handful of young people who were coming up into that age group, and I thought, you know, we need to, we really need to think differently about how this is all going. We need to, what does the Bible say about life between the sexes? And so I preached a series of sermons on biblical courtship, went back to the Bible, what does the Bible have to say about all of this? And, and and discovered that there are quite a few biblical principles that pertain uh, to the subject. And I would boil it all down. So let me, having said that, let me run ahead and caution against what I call courtship nerds. Um, courtship nerds are people who want the Bible to say, um, g give detailed instructions as though courtship and marriage were a paint-by-numbers kit. So what does the Bible say about how close a young man can sit to the young lady on his third visit to the house? You know, that's, that's a courtship nerd question. Um, but forget, set aside methods for the time being. We have to come back to methods later, but, but we have to master the principle first. And the, the boil down, the central principle of biblical courtship is that biblical courtship presupposes the authoritative and affectionate involvement of the young lady's father in um, a developing relationship between a young man and a young woman. So it's not just a, a young man takes an interest in a girl and takes her out until he decides he doesn't like her anymore or, or vice versa. That there's, there's someone there who is a chaperone, a protector, uh, there's an adult on, on the premises. So my book, Her Hand in Marriage, is arguing for a, um, a biblical basis for dad to understand what his assigned role is. Now, if dad just steps in and says, I've got authority here, but he has no wisdom, then it's just going to make it far, far worse than recreational dating. I sometimes joke that courtship means that you have six idiots involved instead of two, um, and you don't want to do that.